If you've been following Weekly 50 recently, you know that I've taken a lot of shots like this. And then last week I had one of a moth, like a hummingbird moth, I think is what it was called. And, and you were probably wondering, wait a second, when's he going to get back to that series of shots about video game controllers sitting on top of the washing machine? Well, here we go. We're <laughs> finally back there. This is... Um, Yet another in the the series of pictures that I've taken that it's just like it's kind of an accident that it's video game controllers on my washing machine. But I, I'm learning about these lights that I have, these uh, Pavo Tube, what do they call them? Nanlite Pavo Tube 26C, I think is the name of the lights. And these color changing lights that, that you can make any color you want. And every time I put a picture up, it's something that I've, it's because I've learned something new as a result of taking pictures of, in this case, a bunch of video game controllers. I think the last one I had was like a Nintendo Wii controller. What I've done differently here, which I didn't do in any of the previous photos, is I've included the lights themselves in the photo. And that was an intentional choice on my part. So the front of the controller is lit with just a plain white light. I think it might've had the color temperature set down to like 2700 or something, but the front of the controller is lit normally with one of these lights. And that's something that I learned a couple weeks ago is that it helps to provide uh, just normal lighting on a part of the subject so that your viewers can relate to it. Because if this was lit with a green light, then it wouldn't look anything all like a controller. And you'd be thinking like, well, what's what's wrong here? Something, something just looks totally off. So the front of the controller is lit with this white light. And then I wanted to think about, well, what else can I do to uh, accentuate the controller and give a sense of depth and give a sense of uh, dynamic energy to, the, to the, the, the static image or the static object here? And so what I did was I took two lights, one on the left and one on the right, and you can actually see their reflections. And that was something new that I, didn't, that I haven't done yet. As I position them in such a way so as to light different parts of the controller, but also show the light so you can see that there's a lot more than just a plain white surface or a reflective surface. And I, I'm not sure like what the right answer is. I'm learning a lot and, and uh, I really like the effect of having those lights there. It gives it this, this sense of energy that's missing in some of the other photos where you, you, you look at this and it, I don't know, it just feels like more alive because you have those lights. Now, one thing that was interesting is my wife looked at this and she said, well, you know, the, the colors are just not quite right on the controller. And she's right. The select and start buttons are the red on there is really hard to read. And I think if I were to do this over, I would adjust the maybe the color temperature of that front facing light or maybe adjust the, the, the colors of the lights themselves because I've the buttons are red. The font is red. So maybe I should choose a different color aside from red, something that contrasts a little bit more with red, like maybe a greenish hue. And that, again, that gives me something to try because it's all about learning, right? If I'm not learning, then what am I doing here? So um, as usual, I clean this all up in Lightroom. I, I mostly by removing a bunch of scratches and dust and dirt and things like that. But this composition is, I mean, this is pretty much what I saw in live view on my camera as I took the shot. It is so fun to shoot with these and I continue to learn and I continue to be excited about where I'll be able to take this in the future.